Hey, I'm Noah, and today I'm reacting to Goodfellas. This movie won my poll by a pretty wide margin, so it must be good. And I don't really know anything about it besides the fact that it's a mob movie and it's directed by Martin Scorsese. So I'm going in totally blind, which is exciting. If you enjoy my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Patreon for full-length reactions. But that's enough talking, let's hop into the movie. It's based on a true story? Gonna have to learn about that after this. 1970. Did I hit something? Fuck, you better pull over and see. Yeah. yeah. Is there somebody in the trunk? Oh, God. Man, kitchen knife. No, he's still alive. No, fuck. Oh. oh, God. They thought he was dead. Oh. Jeez. What? Was that necessary? As far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. <laughs> Oh boy. They weren't like anybody else. I mean, they did whatever they wanted. Nobody ever called the cops. I can see how it's intriguing as a little kid. Tony Stacks, how are you? Tony Cicero. I've watched The Sopranos, so I'm already recognizing actors. Probably gonna be a bunch. Hey, Paulie. Paulie might have moved slow, but it was only because Paulie didn't have to move for anybody. He's the boss. Must I fall? I was the luckiest kid in the world. I knew everybody and everybody knew me. Wise guys would pull up and then let me park their Cadillacs. Wow, that's a lot of trust in a kid. See, people like my father could never understand, but I was a part of something. I was treated like a grown-up. They don't want you to grow up. My father was always pissed off. Pissed that he made such lousy money. He was pissed that there were seven of us living in such a tiny house. Thanks, Seven. It's a letter from school. It says you haven't been there in months. What? In months! Mm. Ah. Dang. And after a while, he was mostly pissed because I hung around the cab stand. Yeah. The way I saw it, everybody takes a beating sometimes. Seems like he has good intentions, just not the best methods. That's the guy. Get him. Excuse me. Spunk Wait, what? What are they doing to him? From now on, any letter from that school to that kid's house comes directly here, you understand? No, oh, wow. No more letters from truant officers, no more letters from school, in fact, no more letters from anybody. Wow. How can I go back to school after that and pledge allegiance to the flag and sit through good government bullshit? He's gonna drop out of school now. I mean, at 13, I was making more money than most of the grown-ups in the neighborhood. I mean, I had more money than I could spend. I had it all. Wow. Jeez, is that like a rival gang or something? One day, some of the kids from the neighborhood carried my mother's groceries all the way home. You know why? It was out of respect. Gained a lot of respect as a child. Look at my shoes, aren't they great? My God, you look like a gangster. <laughs> That's the goal. Oh, man. That was the first time I'd ever seen anyone shot. I remember feeling bad about the guy, but I also remember feeling that maybe Tootie was right. I knew Paulie didn't want anybody dying in the building. You're a real jerk. Eight fucking aprons on this guy. Wow, no empathy. I gotta toughen this kid up. The heck did ambulances used to look like that? It was when I met the world. It was when I first met Jimmy Conway. Robert De Niro. Now he'd walk in the door and everybody who worked the room just went wild. He'd give the doorman a hundred just for opening the door. Bartender got a hundred just for keeping the ice cubes cold. This guy's got money. I'd like you to meet the kid Henry. How you doing? Pleasure. Wow. He was doing hits for mob bosses when he was 16. But what Jimmy really loved to do was steal. I mean, he actually enjoyed it. <laughs> He's the kind of guy who rooted for the bad guys in the movies. He's a wild card. And when the cops, they assigned the whole army to stop Jimmy, what did he do? Paid off the cops. Jimmy, I'd complain, but who'd listen? He won't tell them. One pound of Lego. What do you need? Yep. If you're a good enough criminal, no one's stopping you. Where'd you get those cigarettes? Get him out of here. Right. Get him out of here. Okay. Get him out of here. Okay. Get him out of here. No, no, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. Who are these people? The people. It's cops. Counselor, proceed. He's paid off. Congratulations. Here's your graduation present. There's no more for it. His first court case. I learned the two greatest things in life. Well, Never ride on your friends and always keep your mouth shut. Those are the rules of the mob. Hey, here he is, here he is. Oh, you broke your cherry. <laughs> this is really like him graduating high school. Hey, 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 
63. Whenever we needed money, we'd rob the airport. And to us, it was better than Citibank. Stuff like that just doesn't happen anymore. Probably for the better. <laughs> if we wanted something, we just took it. It was just all routine, and you didn't even think about it. You don't want it to become too routine. That's how you get caught. Big score coming from Air France. Bags of money like this coming in. Calm down. Okay, bro. It's beautiful. But it <laughs> could be like a half a mil coming in. Oh, cash. Sounds too good to be true. What about the security? Damn. You're looking at it. It's a joke. I'm the midnight date man. I'm the commandant. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to problem at all. So nothing's going to go wrong, right? <laughs> he said, no, you're going to tell me something today, tough guy. I said, all right, I'll tell you something. Go fuck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Bing, pow, oh my god, that laugh face. He says, oh, what do you want to tell me now, tough guy? I said, Bing, what are you doing here? I thought I'd tell you to go fuck your mother. <laughs> I thought he was going to shit. <laughs> Something about the way they tell the stories just makes it even more entertaining. <laughs> really funny. What do you mean I'm funny? It's a good story. It's funny. You're a funny guy. What do you mean? You mean the way I talk? Oh, boy. You know, the way you tell the story and everything. Funny how? I mean, what's funny about it? What? <laughs> Right. Funny how? Just, what? Just... Is he messing with him? I'm funny how? I mean funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. I'm here to fucking amuse you. What do you mean funny? Funny how? <laughs> oh my god. What is he doing here? You know how you tell a story? What? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. You said it. How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. <laughs> He's gotta be messing around. Get the fuck out of here, Tommy. <laughs> you motherfucker. I almost had him. I almost had him. Jesus. I wonder about you sometimes, Henry. You may fold under questioning. <laughs> <laughs> Is this guy like a boss of some sort? That's why he was so scared? Yeah, it's no problem. Tell him to put it on my tab. $7,000. I mean, eight peanuts. You call embarrassing me in front of my friends. You know, Sonny, you're a real fucking mutt. You know the money we spend on this? Oh, God. Be like that. What do you mean, Tommy, don't be like that? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All because you're not paying them. What the fuck are you looking at? You're a fucking, <laughs> you're a fucking moron. This guy. <laughs> you're a funny guy. <laughs> That's it, Henry. No, 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 That's come it, Henry. If you want to laugh, this prick last week asked me to christen his kid. <laughs> Everyone's fake laughing at him. Funny guy. <laughs> Jesus. You know this fucking Tommy all your life. Who knows better than you? This cocksucker's an arch criminal. You can't trust Tommy. If there was something I could do, don't you think I would do it? You know me. I would like to help you out. I hope so. <laughs> but Tommy's a bad kid. He's a bad seed. What am I supposed to do? Shoot him? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. He's joking, right? No, I'm sorry I said that. I didn't mean to say that. I just, uh, I need help. All right, help me. <laughs> you want me to be a partner? Yeah, what the fuck you think I'm talking about, Paulie? Please, come on. I'll try to help you, all right? God bless you, Paulie. Okay. Sounds good. Now the guy's got to come up with Paulie's money every week. No matter what. Business bad? Fuck you, pay me. Oh, you had a fire? Fuck you, pay me. Yep. There's a downside to it, too. And there's nothing left? Fucking shame. And you can't borrow another buck from the bank or buy another case of booze? You bust the joint out. Oh, no. Insurance fraud. I'm trying to bang this bro for a fucking month now. The only thing is she won't go out with me alone, you know? No. No what, Henry? Who the fuck asked you anything? <laughs> She don't want to go out with Italians alone. She's prejudiced against Italians. Maybe it's just you. So I figure you come along and go out with a girl. See, I knew it. Henry, I'm asking you for a favor. <laughs> I don't know what, Angel. What? She's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Maybe the family owns the whole fucking block. You'll have to wind up with a big fucking score, you motherfucker. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get away. When they were having coffee, I was asking for a check. I had business. He's not interested. I couldn't stand him. I thought he was really obnoxious. He kept fidgeting around. She's from The Sopranos, too. It's very annoying. It's uh, on his head. <laughs> Before it was even time to go home, he was pushing me into the car and then pulling me out. Mwah. But Diane and Tommy made us promise to meet them again on Friday night. Henry stood me up. You know, he really liked you, too. I mean, all he do is talk about her, you know? <laughs> it must work out, right? But I made Tommy take me looking for him. Really? You got some nerve standing me up. Jeez. I mean, who the hell do you think you are? Frankie Valley or some oh. kind of big shot? <laughs> She's a brave one. We can talk about this, all right? Take it easy. Talk about it? And I'm not talking to you about it. Wait a second. I thought you were going to stand me up. I think he's interested now. 
I'd like you to meet my friend Henry Hill. My daughter says that uh, you're half Jewish. Um, it's just the good half. <laughs> it's a good response. Huh? You're gonna cut the line? I like going this way. It's better than waiting in the line. <laughs> He's laugh. How you doing, Gino? Oh, How are you? Good, good. Got VIP access. <laughs> Seems a little less VIP when you have to walk through the kitchen. They bring out a whole table for him. This place is packed. It's got a lot of connections. This is what Mr. Tony over there. Thanks a lot, Tony. Thank you. Salute. It's well respected. What do you do? I'm in construction. A classic cover up. They don't feel like you're in construction. No, I'm a union delegate. You don't want to know what he does. The king of the one liners, Henny Youngman. Comedy show. How are you all? I'm glad to be here. Take my wife, please. <laughs> I take my wife everywhere, but she finds her way home. Classic old guy jokes. She doesn't want to go somewhere. I've never been before. I said, try the kitchen. <laughs> but oops. I got the key. We walked out with $420,000 without using a gun. That's absurd. <laughs> it's going to be a good summer. <laughs> That's a crazy good score. Anybody ask you where you got it? You got it in Vegas, playing craps. All right. All right? Uh -huh. <laughs> how much did, did he get to keep, though? Hi. How you doing? Okay, Bruce, how are you? Okay. Henry, this is Bruce. Bruce, this is Henry. Hi. Good to meet you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Awkward. Do you know him? Yeah, he lives across the street. So... What is he going to do to him? I didn't think there was anything strange in any of this. You know, a 21-year-old kid with such connections. Nothing strange about it, huh? wigs that come off at the wrong time <laughs> you can afford a more wig price to fit every budget so call me now <laughs> jimmy's being an unconscionable ball break okay give him eight to five on cleveland okay please you know jimmy you borrowed his money pay him didn't agree to three points above the vig what am i fucking nuts what are you gonna do come on you're gonna fight with jimmy conway you don't want to fight I fuck him in the other arena yeah. son of a bitch did i have a bust his balls did i did i i could have dropped oh boy he's coming you're talking crazy stop it now will you oh no for that fucking commercial, you know. <laughs> fucking commercial. You don't got my money. You don't got my. His wig came off. Fucking cop. Pay me my money. Sorry, baby. He'll pay. He'll pay. He'll pay. Jimmy, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be sorry. Don't you hear me? I gotta come here and bust my body. <laughs> Karen, hey, slow down. Get the fucking money. Jimmy, I'll pay you. What's happening? Stay there. Don't move. Really what happened to Karen, Jimmy? Oh, what happened to Karen? Me that I've known all my life. Oh. What, is, what, is, what? what the heck? Look, he started to touch me, grab me. I told him to stop. He didn't stop. Let's go get this guy. <laughs> this beating is gonna be worth it. Why don't you go inside and get yourself together? <laughs> He's gonna go with B Tan or just a gunshot? You want fucko? You want something? Oh wow. Oh, hey. Oh. Bash him with the gun. Oh. Oh. I swear my fucking mother, if you touch her again, you're dead! Oh. This is totally justified. Don't shoot! Nothing wrong with that. I know there are women like my best friends who would have gotten out of there the minute their boyfriend gave them a gun to hide. But I didn't. I gotta admit the truth. It turned me on. You know you got some protection. Happily married. Paulie and his brothers had lots of sons and nephews, and almost all of them were named Peter or Paul. <laughs> That'd be confusing. Plus, they were all married to girls named Marie. Not much creativity going on back then. By the time I finished meeting everybody, I thought I was drunk. <laughs> Paulie, you shouldn't have. To the family Sunday. They're gonna make so much just having a wedding. Never gonna have to work again after this wedding. <laughs> what the bag? The bag with all the envelopes, all the money. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Nobody's gonna steal that here. Yeah, that'd be a bad idea. That is... Got a feeling that this won't last, though. You're here 
a month, and sometimes I know he doesn't come home at all. What kind of people are these? <laughs> you don't know where he is. You don't know who he's with. He's with his friends! Dad! <laughs> it's the life you embark in when you date a mobster. Where have you been? Mom! We were worried to death. A married man does not stay out like this. <laughs> no more people don't act like this! <laughs> <laughs> he's not dealing with it. After a while, it got to be all normal. It was more like Henry was enterprising and that he and the guys were making a few bucks hustling. Yep, just don't think about it. There was always a little harassment. They always wanted to talk to Henry about this or that, but mostly they were just looking for a handout, a few bucks to keep things quiet. They got a kid now. Some of the wives, like Mickey Conway, used to curse at them and spit on the floor. Her own floor that never made any sense to me. <laughs> Let's go shopping. Can I get some money? How much do you need? Wow. See you later. That's a lot of shopping money. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Looked at his watch. Not 1970. We caught up to the beginning of the movie. Frankie, how are you? Hey, Tommy, all dressed up, all grown up and doing the town. Look at this. Oh, Tommy. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. Watch this suit. Watch this suit, you little like frick, you. <laughs> We're getting too big on me Just now. Don't go busting my balls, Billy, okay? Tommy, if I was going to break your balls, I'd tell you to go home and get your shine box. <laughs> oh, this kid was, this kid was great. This Billy guy. I don't shine shoes anymore. Relax, will you for crying out? Some weird tension between them. You were having a party. I mean, I just came home. I haven't seen you in a long time, and I'm breaking your balls. I'm sorry. I don't mean right. to offend you. It's okay. No problem. Okay, salute. But he's really bad at taking a joke as well. I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. There we go. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit! Come on, come on! Come on! He bought his fucking button at the fake old top guy. Come on. Fuck, keep that motherfucker here. Keep him here. Keep him here. Come on, you fucking feel strong? That wasn't very tough. I was we're hugging and kissing over here, and two minutes later, he's acting like a fucking jerk. No, no, no. You insulted him a little bit. You got a little out of order yourself. Let's be fair here. No, I didn't insult nobody. Give us a drink. Give us a drink. <laughs> Come on, let's have some drinks, all right? Drinks on the house. Come How powerful is this Billy guy? Go on, yeah, go on. It's on the house. Ass. I fuck kids like Take that care of in the ass. ass. I fuck them. <laughs> fucking break up my party. I'm guessing that's going to be a feud. I did my fucking time, Jimmy. I did my fucking time. And I want what I got to get. I got fucking... Is he going to apologize or something worse? Yeah. Oh, God. That ain't good. Oh wait, they planned this. Whoa. Oh, this is the guy they killed at the beginning. Jeez. That's why they were so aggressive. This is gonna cause some issues. I don't want to get blood on your floor. All over a little petty argument. I'm sure it runs deeper than that. For most of the guys, killings got to be accepted. I mean, hits just became a habit for some of the guys. Yep. Tommy had killed a made guy. That was part of the Gambino crew. And before you could touch a made guy, you had to have a good reason. Yeah, this is a big issue. Saturday night was for wives, but Friday night at the Copa was always for the girlfriends. Wives and girlfriends. I mean, you can see how a white girl can fall for him. What? Oh, God. In other words, you condone that stuff. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> you have to watch out sometimes how you say things. You know, people get the wrong impression. <laughs> Why don't you just leave it alone now? I mean, I understand what you said. <laughs> this guy's so insecure about everything. Bats. And these people are driving everybody crazy looking for him. They should leave him wherever the fuck he is. Nobody knows what happened to him. He came into the joint that one night, and then he just disappeared. Mm-hmm. All right, keep your eyes open, because they're busting my balls about this bastard, all right? Okay. Oh, they're, so they're not telling the, not telling him, because that could be an issue. We got a real problem. You know that thing we took care of upstate? We had to get it out of there. Just sold the property and they want to make it into condominiums. Oh, God. I don't care how long it's been. We got to get it out of there right away. That's going to be gross. I like how they do lighting when these killings are happening. They got the red lighting. Oh, hey, Henry, Henry. Here's an arm. Henry's. Uh, here's a leg. Not. Super into these killings. Oh, you still go for your hearts and lungs. <laughs> Jesus. What happened to your uh, car? Both. Uh, I hear skunk carrier, right? Come on. You hit a skunk, so your inside of your trunk got destroyed. 
I would just buy a new car. Janice and I were having so much fun, she started screwing up at work and... Fucking Janice can do whatever she wants to do, you got it? Jeez. Come on, get off of her. He's got two wives now. Hey, Spider, bring me a cut in water, huh? I'm starving. I want some change. Go you guys came wow, he's in this too. What? Where's my fucking drink? I asked you for a drink. No, I thought, I thought you said that you were all right, Spider. No, you're a fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck. <laughs> no, I thought you said... You were all right, Spider. I am all right. You ain't all right. Just get the drink. Okay, I'll bring it. Yeah, go well, get me a fucking drink. Move it, you little prick. <laughs> Oklahoma kid, that's me. I'm the Oklahoma kid. You fucking oh, fuck it. This guy. Yahoo, you motherfucker. He's so insecure. <laughs> oh, we actually hit him. Yeah, now he's moving. This guy. All right, so he got shot in the foot. What is it, a big fucking deal? Tommy's got some serious issues. Take him to the doctor down the street. Fucking brick. Jeez. It's an accident. Fuck him. Little fucking accident. Tommy's a loose cannon. Something's going on. Stop with that. No, I'm telling you, I look in your face and I know that you're lying. Jesus. Get out. Get out of my life. You're fucked up in the head, Karen. This is all in your mind. Wow. Yep. Can't really blame her. <laughs> Back to it. Give us a little, give us a, a couple of fucking steps here. Tell the truth, you're looking for sympathy, is that it, sweetie? Why don't you go fuck yourself, Tom? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Gonna get shot again. I don't believe what I just heard. Hey, Spider, here. Hey, this is for you. Atta boy. <laughs> he shoots him in the foot, he tells him to go fuck himself. <laughs> I'm happy now, but... You can let this fucking punk get away with that. What's the matter? What's the world coming to? Oh my god! This guy what actually. The world is coming to. How do you like that? Has no patience. I'm kidding with you. What the fuck are you doing? Are you what a fucking fuck? sick maniac? I don't know if you're kidding. What do you mean you're kidding? You're... Jesus Christ. He's dead. Good shot. Man. I hate Tommy. <laughs> now you're gonna dig the fucking thing up. You're no, gonna fuck kids. I'll dig the fucking hole. I don't give a fuck. God. First time I dug a hole, I dig a fucking hole. Where are the shovels? Tommy. He's insane. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you! Oh. Keep away from my husband, you hear me? How'd she find out who it was? Open the door! Answer me! <laughs> you are nothing but a whore! Is this the superintendent? Oh, jeez. Get your own goddamn man! Wake up, Henry. Oh, God. She's pretty wild. What are you doing? <laughs> Karen, are you crazy? I'm crazy enough to kill the both of you. This might be a little far. Do you love her? Do you? <laughs> Please be careful. Baby, baby, don't, don't. Oh my god. <laughs> How is he gonna react after this? <laughs> yep. I got enough to worry about getting fucking whacked on the street. I gotta fucking come home. I gotta fucking come home. Yeah. How does it feel, Karen? I get being a little mad after that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to get a drink? No, no, no. This. Oh, what did they gotta talk about? Karen came to the house. Oh boy. This is no good. You gotta straighten this thing out. Gotta have calm now. Oh, she's getting all hysterical. <laughs> But you gotta go back. I mean, it's the only way. You gotta keep up appearances. <laughs> you gotta be a family man. You gotta go home. Smart up. All right? Yeah. <laughs> She'll never divorce him. She'll kill him. What you want? <laughs> you gonna pay it? Ouch! Ouch. I, it, I swear. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a nice vacation. Come on, we'll throw the bastard to the lions. No. No. No way they're actually gonna do that. I'll get it. I'll get it, money. Uh, yeah. They mean business. <laughs> When we got home, we were all over the newspaper. Turned out to have a sister working as a typist for the FBI. Bad luck. She gave up everybody. Jimmy, me. Oh, wow. Judge gave Jimmy and me 10 years like he was giving away candy. 10 years. What? How do they get out of this? Good trip, good life. Get out soon. Good trip, sweetheart. Get out. Is he actually going to have to do the 10 years? In prison, dinner was always a big thing. Paulie did the prep work. Vinny was in charge of the tomato sauce. Wow. 
We got a whole system in prison. Johnny Deal did the meat. I used to smell up the joint something awful. He still cooked a great steak. I live in the good life, you. You know, it, when you think of prison, pictures okay, in your mind of all those old movies with rows and rows of guys behind bars. But it wasn't like that for wise guys. Wow. I mean, we own the joint. Yeah, it's not too bad. Fresh. Vinny, I got your peppers and onions. Salami, prosciutto, a lot of cheese. Come on, come on, what else? They're eating better than me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, God, is he addicted to pills? I'll catch you next week. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, or is he selling? At least you know he's not cheating in here. Or is he? <laughs> I saw her name in the register. Where am I? I'm in jail. I can't stop people from coming to see me. Let us sneak this stuff in for you every- Oh, wow. Well. Look, look, look what you're doing every week. Every week. Look. Come on. This shit is this stop it, Karen. This stop it. You're causing a scene. I asked your friend Remo for the money that he owes you. He told me to take my kids down to the police station and get on welfare. <laughs> Wow. Believe me, in a month we're gonna be fine. We won't need anybody. I'm afraid if Polly finds out. Don't worry about him. He is not helping us out. Is he putting any food on the table? Wow. I thought they would take care of each other so they don't, you know, switch up on him. Four years. You got out early? Karen, get packed. We're moving out of here. With what? Don't worry with what. You just start looking for a new house, okay? It's getting the business back in order. <laughs> no. Is everybody out? Polly, why would I want to get into that? Don't make a I'm jerk not... out of me. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. What is he talking about? I want to talk to you about Jimmy. You got to watch out for him. He's wild. Takes too many chances. No, I know that. I know Jimmy. Yeah, I think we know that. And hey. Tommy, he's a good kid too, but he's crazy. I only use him for certain things. Believe Listen, me, you don't have I ain't going to gonna get fucked like Gribbs. Gribbs is 70 years old and the fucking guy's going to die in prison. Polly doesn't trust Tommy and Jimmy. And you see anybody fucking around with this shit, you're going to tell me, right? Yeah. That means anybody. Oh, he doesn't want him to sell, like, pills and stuff anymore? I started using Sammy's place to mix the stuff. I could see that this was a really good business. I made $12,000 in my second week. Oh, God. All I had to do was every once in a while was tell Sandy that I loved her. Jesus. So he's not supposed to be selling drugs? Within a couple of weeks, it got to be so big, I needed some help. So I got Jimmy and Tommy to come in with me. Exactly what Polly didn't want. Do you love it? Oh, it's wonderful. It's a little tacky. <laughs> Watch the wall with the rock. Wow. <laughs> That's silly. Come on. All right. They're rich, rich now. Good. This will make the Air France hole look like goddamn peanuts, man. Ah, he's looking into okay. it and we'll see what happens. No promises. A bigger haul than the 420,000. And these are the guys that Jimmy put together for what turned out to be the biggest heist in American history. Oh, God. Tommy and Carbone, Frenchie and Joe Buddha, Johnny Rose Beef, even Stax Edwards what? got in. He's in this movie. Only Maury was driving us nuts. Just because he set this up, he felt he could bust Jimmy's balls for an advance on the money we were going to steal. In advance. He didn't mean anything by it. That's just the way he was. He's always taking loans from Jimmy. I had everybody working for me. Even our old babysitter, Lois Bird. Wow. Using babies. Snowballs. Things are going too well. Nobody knows for sure just how much was taken in the daring pre-dawn raid. Port Authority police say four million dollars. The city cops say five. <laughs> five million dollars. No son of a bitch! Did it actually work? It looks like a big one. Maybe the biggest this town has ever seen. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's amazing. Genius. Genius. How do they split the money? Gorgeous. Wow. I bought it for my wife. It's a pink car. It's nice enough to go buy anything for a while. It's from my mother. It's under her name. I just got married. You don't want to flash. Everybody's watching us and you get a fucking car. They're telling me I'm excited. My mother's name. <laughs> don't buy anything. Don't get anything. Nothing big. Did you hear what I said? What's the matter with you? It's a simple rule. Because you're going to get us all fucking pinched. That's why. What are you, stupid? I'm sorry. What the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's my mother's name. <laughs> You say? Are you being a fucking name. wise guy with me? You don't buy anything, you hear me? Don't buy anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> Makes it awkward in there. Oh, you're stupid or what? Excuse me. What's the matter? Take it off. Take it off. Everybody's buying stuff. 
Bring it back. Bring it back. I don't care what you do with it. Bring it where you gotta be. Just right. get out of here. All right. Yep, you gotta, re you gotta be responsible. Hey, guys, I've been looking all over for you. Jimmy, Henry, how are you? Merry Christmas. Hey, listen, I need the money. <laughs> Jimmy, I need Christmas, the money. Relax. relax. I'm relaxing. I need the money. Are they gonna give it to him? Jimmy. 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 He's gonna press Jimmy again. Right. Poison in my eyes. I'll talk to him. Poison in my eyes. Do they plan on giving him the money? Christmas, your share. Don't be a moron with the money. Do what's right, you understand? Harry! I got the most expensive tree they had! <laughs> That's still not that big of a splash. So he's good. Merry Christmas. Thank you. What? Gold bar. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Go get yourself yeah. something nice, okay? I mean, he was flashing like that before this score, right? Got an electric door in his living room. Lufthansa should have been our ultimate score. The heist of a lifetime. Six million in cash. More than enough to go around. But... You can always have more money. Ah, uh, this fucking guy ain't ready. I knew you weren't gonna be ready. Fuck, you didn't bring coffee? What do you look like, a fucking caterer? <laughs> it's 11.30. We're always supposed to be there by 9. Shit, I'll be ready. Yeah, you're always fucking late. You're late for your own fucking funeral. No. What? What did he do to you? Come on, make that coffee to go. Let's go. Hey, so cool about you. I'm winning. Are any of his killings justified? Not that we've seen so far. Jesus. Instead of getting rid of the truck like he was supposed to, he got stoned. The time he woke up, the cops had found the truck. Oh. They even said they came up with prints off the wheel. So he did mess up. I guess in the world of crime, that was justified. What? Guess what? They're gonna make him. What? He's gonna be a, a maid? He's gonna get made? We're gonna work for this guy one day. He's gonna be a boss. <laughs> <laughs> you do not want him as a boss. Jimmy, can I talk to you a second? Eight? Fuck him! I want my money! He deserves some money. Cheap cigarette hijacking. Mommy! Mix. No, fuck it! <laughs> want my money! Go tell him. Okay. Boy, you're gonna get your money. Everything's gonna be fine. Go, oh, Henry boy. <laughs> the pipes are calling. I feel like they don't plan on giving him the money. And all the roses die. I feel like they're gonna kill him. I think Maury tells his wife everything. Maury, yeah. That's when I knew Jimmy was gonna whack Maury. Yep. That's how fast it takes for a guy to get whacked. Make sure you bring him here tonight. Wow. He gets you the score, and this is how you're gonna repay him. I'm out of breath, I got blood. Forget about the name. Forget about the Oh, really? It was like a load off my mind. Never knew how close he'd come to getting killed. Even if I told him, he would have never believed me. What you mean? What made him change his mind? Come on, let's grab coffee. Oh, you want to go to the or what? We'll, we'll go to the over there on the boulevard. Yeah. I'm still worried. No, I didn't. Oh, it's terrific. Yeah, Nunzio up in the... They just stabbed him. <laughs> wow. Oh, pain in the ass. What do you want to do? Get rid of him. Chop him up. So why'd he tell Henry he wasn't going to do it? He doesn't trust Henry anymore. 27 years. He's never been away all night without calling. I know something's happened. No. I yep. She knows. What the heck? person that bought the car got killed as well? Both of them. Dang. I'm not letting anybody live. Jimmy was cutting every link between himself and the robbery. Mwah. From then on, I kept my mouth shut. I knew Jimmy. Wow. It was his. He wanted it all for himself. It made him sick to have to turn money over to the guys who stole it. He'd rather whack them. I thought they had some, you know, respect. Some code. He was frozen so stiff it took them two days to thaw him out for the autopsy. Jeez. They didn't even bother to, like, bury him. The thing that made Jimmy so happy that morning was that this was the day that Tommy was being made. Jimmy was so excited, you'd think he was being made. Why is he so happy for Tommy? Congratulations, I wish you lots of love. I love you. Don't paint any more religious pictures, please. Careful. <laughs> Jimmy and I could never be made because we had Irish blood. Wow, so that's how it works. You've got to be 100% Italian so they can trace all your relatives back to the old country. I wonder why they picked Tommy over the others. That would not have been my first choice. See, it's the highest honor they can give you. It means that nobody can fuck around with you. You're giving it to the wrong guy. As far as Jimmy was concerned, with Tommy being made, it was like we were all being made. We would now have one of our own as a member. Unless he lets the power go to his head. Oh, no. 
What? Yeah. What? Was that part of the plane? And we couldn't do nothing about it. That's it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, he's gone. He's gone. Huh? Why'd they do it? <laughs> Clearly he didn't set him up. I don't even get it. Why'd they do it? It was revenge for Billy Bats. Oh, wow. And a lot of other things. And there was nothing that we could do about it. He did deserve it. <laughs> this is Jimmy's best friend. They even shot Tommy in the face, so his mother couldn't give him an open coffin at the funeral. Extra disrespect. 1980. That was so unexpected. I only bought the damn guns because he wanted them, and now he didn't want them. What the heck? What the fuck are these things? They're not no fit. What's the matter with you? Stop with those fucking drugs. They're making your mind into mush. You hear me? How'd you get the wrong guns? Now, I knew my Pittsburgh guys always wanted guns, and since I was going to see them later in the afternoon to pick up a delivery, I was pretty sure I'd get my money back. Is he being, like, paranoid because of the drugs? Oh, jeez. Just in time. When I finally got there at the hospital to pick up Michael, his doctor wanted to put me in bed. Get over here. I'm fine. Let me check you out. It's Clay Davis from The Wire. He gave me 10 milligrams of Valium and sent me home. Wow. Yeah, right in front yeah, of us there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's been following me all morning. What are you, nuts? I'm telling you. I was thinking he's maybe hallucinating this helicopter, but its brother sees it as well. Now, my plan was to start the dinner early so Karen and I could unload the guns that Jimmy didn't want well, that night. Been their initial he's so paranoid. The drugs are getting to him. Oh, God, I see it. What? I see it. Look, she look, it's right there. Damn. She on drugs as well. Yep, that's it. There it is. Come on, we gotta, get, we gotta get to it. your mother's. Something weird's going on. No, I'm not nuts. This thing's been following me around all fucking morning. I'm telling you. I think you're nuts. Yeah, it's done. I don't hear anything. Come on, let's go back to your mother's. What is this going to lead to? You understand me? You hear me? Call from an outside line. I mean it. Jesus, you must think I'm dumb. Or I know what to do. <laughs> Just do it. Okay. Something's got to go wrong. So what does she do after she hangs up with me? She picks up the phone and calls from the house. Oh, no. They'd know that a package was leaving from my house, and they'd even have the time and the flight number thanks to her. She's getting lazy. I had to drive over to Sandy's place, mix the stuff once, and then get back to the gravy. <laughs> Jesus. You think you can come over here and fuck me and leave? You got someplace better to go? Huh? Like He's gotta make dinner. Fucking like some of bitch, I hate you! Oh my god. Don't have to. Well, he made it through dinner. We gotta go soon. I gotta go home and get my hat. Forget your fucking hat. What are you kidding me? <laughs> Do you understand what we're involved in here? I don't care. I need my hat. I won't fly without it. She's reckless. A hat? She's crazy. Oh, it's a setup. Move you motherfucker, I'll blow your brains out. Shut the car off slowly. Were they listening on the phone? Or did, was she in on it? For a second I thought I was dead. If they had been wise guys, I wouldn't have heard a thing. Yeah. Oh boy. It's on your fingers. Is that all you got in the house? One, two, three, let's go. <laughs> That's where you're gonna hide it. When was the last time you took a collar? Say anything to me. I don't really give a fuck. Okay, she wasn't in on it. All day I thought the guys in the helicopter were just local cops busting my balls over Lufthansa. But they turned out to be narcs. So the helicopter wasn't fake. You don't want to talk to me, you're gonna have a fucking problem all night. I'm gonna be on you like shit. He's not getting out of this one. Jerry, what were you guys, grocery shopping? What, are we gonna make a cake? <laughs> Is it good? What do you do? <laughs> See you in Attica, dick. Only way out is if you snitch. They're all afraid I'm gonna rat them out. Yeah. I'm dead in here. You gotta get me out. How are you gonna get out? Got her mother to put her house up for my bail and I was out. Oh, you can get out on bail? And I was worried about Jimmy. If Paulie found out he was in the drug deals with me, Paulie would have Jimmy whacked even before me. Oh, God. I didn't feel safe until I got home. Things are going down. Where's the stuff that I left, Karen? I flushed it down the toilet. You what? She had to. What was I supposed to do? Karen, that's all the money that 
that we had, Karen. I was dependent on that. They had no savings at all. Henry, I swear, Henry, they would have found it. Yeah. No! How <laughs> did you do that? Why? She had to. <laughs> he made so much money, he never could have saved any. Why? Uh. He's a dead man. Yep. Gotta sleep with the gun. I'm really sorry. You know, I can be trusted now. You looked in my eyes, you lied to me. You treated me like a fucking jerk. No, God. Polly, after what you said, I couldn't come to you. You know, I, I, was, I was ashamed. Is an apology gonna be enough? You're all I've got, and I really, really need your help. I really do. I don't know about this. Take this. Now I gotta turn my back on you. He's letting him run away, at least? That's pretty nice. 3200 bucks for a lifetime. Yeah, that's not gonna do much, but... We gotta get out! I don't wanna run. I don't wanna do that, Henry. Is that what you want? It's the only option. You got it, we're dead! If you took too much of that stuff, you're totally paranoid. <laughs> no. How's he doing? Busting his balls or what? He's okay. Sobered him up. Good, good. Very good. Glad to hear it. Jimmy's gonna kill him. Do your addresses. You wanna have them? Pick out a few for yourself. It's in the store in the corner. It's swag, so I got it down the corner. Oh, God. He's gonna kill her. Okay. Oh, no. Thanks, Jim. Don't worry. Don't worry. This ain't right. Over here? Oh, God. Run. Yeah, it's over there. Right there. Can you make it any more sketchy? This is so nerve-wracking. Is it legit? Okay. Go ahead, it's right in there. No, oh, Jimmy, right there. I'm in a hurry. Okay, she's not stupid. I'll come back later. If it was a shorter walk, it would have worked out. I mean, that was so sketchy. Karen? Karen? You gotta go. So I met Jimmy in a crowded place we both knew. Oh boy. He was jumpy. He hadn't touched a thing. Can Henry get him first? The kid turned out to be a rat. As soon as he got pinched, he ratted everybody out. He ratted his all out. <laughs> would you have a problem going with Anthony on vacation? He'll take care of it. Mm -mm. Trying to make sure he would be able to kill a snitch. Jimmy had never asked me to whack somebody before, but now he's asking me to go down to Florida and do a hit with Anthony. That is sketchy. It's either to prove loyalty. It's when I knew I would never have come back from Florida alive. Yep. So now he's got to kill. Yeah, I don't want to go any place. It's cold. Oh, he's going to snitch. What about my parents? Am I going to see them? Am I going to talk to them? I mean, no. No. That's unfortunate. I can't leave my parents. It's better than dying. Conversation, you're talking to Henry. Right? Wait a minute. He's arrested. Does that mean they spilled already? Why would you guys go down to Wall Street? It's a real fucking crook. Got Paul B. What it comes down to, Karen, is we're basically your only salvation. We're going to save your life, we're going to save his life, and we're going to keep you out of jail. You got to do it. Can you please point him out for the members of the jury? Wow. The Hill has identified the defendant, James Conway. He's really doing it. We ran everything. Paid off cops, lawyers, we paid off judges. Everything was for the taking. And now it's all over. What the heck? Today everything is different. There's no action. Can't even get decent food. He's living a normal life now. Some spaghetti with marinara sauce and I got egg noodles and ketchup. <laughs> get to live the rest of my life like a schnook. At least you're not dead. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Long time coming. Rip Polly. That's the movie. I enjoyed that. It's crazy how many of those actors went on to be in The Sopranos as well, but I guess it makes sense. It had a pretty happy ending. If anyone deserved to get out and live a normal life, it would be Henry. He wasn't a saint or anything, but he was nowhere near as bad as Jimmy and Tommy were. Those two were just killing everybody. Jimmy always out of greed killing people, and Tommy because he's so insecure about everything. And Tommy's death was definitely the biggest surprise in this movie. It just came out of nowhere, but it was all of his sins catching up to him. And I can't say he didn't deserve it. I also appreciate 
appreciate how real this felt. Didn't seem like it tried to play things up too much. Seems pretty grounded in reality. And I guess that makes sense since it's apparently based off a real story. I'm gonna have to read more about that. But overall, I just really enjoyed this movie. If you enjoyed my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.